Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. When we're doing a loop, we may want to create additional conditions for us to get out of that loop or just skip a particular iteration of that loop. And how we do that is we create a break or a continue statement. So let's just go ahead and create a for and then we'll do uh, number number is equal to two. And we'll run this loop so long as a number is less than 6. And let's just do 10. Then at the end of each iteration, we'll just do plus plus. Got an extra dollar symbol in there. Okay. So coming outside of this, we're going to create the block. All right, so down here we're going to create another variable, and it's going to be called amount. We're going to set amount equal to 100 divided by number. Below that, we're just going to print out a string that says uh, 100 divided by number because it'll be the current iteration, the current set that number is at, divided by number, oh, I made a, I made a big mistake, spelled divided with an E, divided by uh, number equals, I'm just going to type out equals the word, equals amount. And then we're going to use concatenation to just do a line break here. And then we're finished with this. So now let's save it and run it. And you'll see here, if we pull this up, there we go. 100 divided by 2 equals 50. 100 divided by 3 equals 33.3333. Now I have this point in here, so I should probably just get rid of that period so it's not so confusing. There we go. Okay. 100 divided by 4 equals 25. 100 divided by 5 equals 20 and so on and so forth. So there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this right now. But let's suppose that number was actually negative 2. Okay, now if we save it and we run it, you'll see here we're getting an error when we get to 0. It says, so it says negative, you know, 100 divided by negative 2 equals negative 50. But then when we come down to 0, it says warning, division by 0 uh, in the file. Uh, that can't happen. It doesn't, you can't divide 0 by 100. So what we need to do is instead of having this warning get thrown up, is we need to create a if statement that is going to break out of that current iteration of the loop whenever it encounters the 0. Now the way to do that is just come up here, and we can actually break out of this loop early by just creating the if, if number is equal to zero. Then we come outside of this. Oh, came down too far. And then we're just going to type in break right here. Simple as that. Bring that down a little bit. Now we can run this. You'll see 100 divided by negative 2 equals negative 50. 100 divided by negative 1 equals a negative 100. And then once we hit zero, once number was equal to zero, we broke out of the loop entirely. Now, here we have a condition that says keep going through the loop until it is less than 10. But what's happened is because we used break, we completely just jumped out. We bailed ship. All right, the Titanic was sinking. So how can we stop this from happening? All we need to do is hit continue. And what that does is it does the same thing as break, but it tells it, it tells the program to continue going through that loop. So we'll hit save here. And we run it, and you'll see that it goes negative 2, negative 1, and then it skips 0, jumps back into the for loop, and goes up to 1, and then all the way up to 9. Okay, so that is how you use a break and continue in PHP. My name is Jake Williams. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Peace.